to authorize Jagger first and not others who might require assistance. This was one way of trying to find Those are the Egyptian Africa. So if you if you'd like to see the penguins after your second phase of the garden. We have three of these guns here on the island. They are all connected by an underground tunnel. The structure weighs 28 tons, 28,000 kilograms. My name is Nado, spelled as N T A N D O. This prison was built in 1964. In 1979, the prison population began in the fall of this prison. It was 1,200. Because in this prison, your name and your surname cease to exist. What does the health office? We're not interested on your name or your surname, but we're interested on your prison now. And during those days of apartheid, if we are political prisoners, you are not entitled to things like parole or remission. You will serve your sentence in full. As you can see for yourselves, Mr. Plinaya was sentenced on the 28th February 1964 and was released on the 27th February 1984. 20 years in this Mr. Nancy Mandela was sentenced to life imprisonment also for sabotage. And when it's cold, it's extremely cold. That's why so many prisoners in this prison contracted diseases like asthma, arthritis, tuberculosis. All those prisoners with chronic diseases were confined in this building. This is the hospital section. Opposite this section is peace section. That's where Mr. Nelson Mandela spent 18 years of his prison sentence. This area here used to be the garden of Mr. Nelson Mandela. That's where the manuscript was found buried. Fortunately, the manuscript here was the second manuscript because the first one was already smuggled out of this prison with the sense of a lawyer. When Mr. Meg Maharaj was released in this prison in 1976, he then transported that manuscript to London, where it was printed and published. I was only 19 years of age when I was a member of the Congress of South American Students. During those days, as black students in this country, we were fighting against that system of education, which was designed by Professor Aislinn and Dr. Henry Verbo, those architects of a party to make blacks in this country. Nothing but service, but unfortunately, when we were protesting, demonstrating peacefully against that system of education, the response from the regime was always negative because we were tear gas, paid on charge. We were telling to tell you tortured, and some of our students were even killed. It was very really tough. You know, I cannot start to begin to tell you the types of torture I was subjected to. This is the end of our tour. I'll show you a way out and then you'll be free from my prison. <laughs> <laughs>